I was on a practice run, and I started the lap right behind Montoya. I was gapped very well to get a good tow lap. A little bit after the start-finish line to start that lap, everything just kind of goes blank. They told me that I probably wouldn't walk for about two weeks. I would be in hospital about a month. And I wouldn't drive a car for six or seven months. I walked on day four. I got out of the hospital on day 10. And four months later, I drove a race car. The only question at that point is, you know, mentally, are you still able to do it at that level? And that was a really hard, sort of counterintuitive thing for me to process. It wasn't a question of if or, you know, what I, what I want to or what I'd be able to. Physically, how do you feel heading into 2016? Would I still be able to race against Scott Dixon's and Ryan Hunter Ray's and Elio Castro Neves? Is that the level I'll still be able to perform at? You know, it's relatively easy to drive an Indy car at 95%. But at 95%, you're going to finish last. And this was another scary crash at the Speedway today during practice this afternoon. Significant injury to his upper thigh. His flip lost control of his car. In a horrible crash this afternoon. The outside wall in turn three had to be rushed to the hospital. And when I hit the wall, I hit with 126 Gs. was the largest impact ever recorded in IndyCar history. It was a sudden failure. In the middle of the corner, it was the right front rocker. And instead of braking, the piece shot straight through the car and straight through my body. And it went through me at a 45-ish degree angle and came out my left upper thigh and it struck my femoral artery on my left side on the way through. When I woke up, my third question was, when can I get back in a race car? I've pushed myself hard to get where I am and to do what I do. You have to. But I push myself so much further and so much harder. So much more about what I'm capable of, mentally and physically, has made me a stronger person in every conceivable way. Because for whatever reason, racing drivers are just wired differently. That's how you gain an advantage. That's how I'm wired. This is why I'm here, is to do this. Proving that you can beat the other guy.